we are already getting 963 points out of 1000 in combat exam and uh, we are expecting to earn even much point in the coming months or even weeks so kindly consider subscribing to our channel so the next time you have similar video youtube will notify you uh, this is round one for combat exam and we'll go straight to research and development and start making decision for it um, i believe uh, the decision that we'll be making is going to be quite helpful to you and um, if you find our we follow our strategy i believe strongly that um, you're going to score the highest point possible Without further ado, uh, let's go to research and development and start making decision. Um, at the beginning, we have four products, that is Eka, Adam, Ark, and Able. Uh, Ark is a um, drift market segment product, Able is a co-product, and Eka is a nano product, while Adam is a elite product. So for ECA, uh, we are first going to increase our performance to 11.3 and reduce its size to 6.8. For Adam, we are going to increase performance to 13.4 and reduce its size to 8.8. ARC will increase to 5.6 and reduce its size to 14.1. While for ABLE, we'll increase performance to 8.3 and reduce its size to 11.7. Uh, for each product, um, we'll maintain the same reliability. So let us recalculate and see what happens. So as you can see, our revision date um, is not that bad, but uh, using TQM, we are going to reduce the revision date. This is the same as when the product will come out or the new revision will be updated on each product on the market. Okay, for ABLE, let us try to make some adjustments. Let us try to increase its performance back to 8.4 and reduce its size to 11.6. Um, we also need to introduce newer products so that we do not uh, lose points in product count. So our first product is Alex and uh, we are giving it performance of 11.0 and size of 9.0 while uh, reliability of uh, 22,000. Our next product is Abil. We are giving it a performance of 12.3, uh, size of 5.8, and reliability of 24,000. Our final product will be giving it a performance of 14.4, and size of 7.8, and reliability of 26,000. You can guess any of them. Uh, for this product that we are introducing. Uh, let us go to TQM. Uh, we'll spend uh, 1,500 on each strategy. Uh, we are spending this much because we want to increase our material cost reduction, uh, labor cost reduction, and also fasten our are in this cycle time and reduce the means cost as well as increase demand faster because uh, the faster you increase the the point you'll get uh, in balance score card so when we calculate uh, we see the changes uh, on your top right of the screen you could see the changes on the kind of result we'll be getting okay we are back to R&D and you can see like our revision date have really changed. Um, we also did not um, introduce a newer product in LA market segment because we did not select the name. So let us do it now. You can guess any name. Uh, let us have Ajax. Uh, we'll give Ajax performance of 14.4, um, size of 7.8 and reliability of 26,000. So when you calculate, you know, we see the product will come out by 17 July next year, or 2023. I think we are done with the R&D. We can now go to marketing. We'll start with our drift segment product arc, and uh, we reduce the price to 20.5. For ABLE, which is a core product, we reduce the price to $30 per unit. I uh, will maintain the same price for uh, nano and LED products, that is 40 and 42 respectively. 
for a promo budget and sales budget for each product will increase to 2,000 each. Uh, the most challenging part uh, in marketing section, I think um, it is forecasting. So when you get forecasting right, uh, you'll avoid quite a number of problems, major, majorly uh, the chances of uh, earning and the chances of incurring an emergency loan. So if you project uh, too much and the demand um, is quite low, it means that you'll end up with high inventory and the likelihood is that uh, most of your money will be stored in those inventory. So you'll need to borrow uh, short-term debt, which is quite expensive, which is also called emergency debt because you did not plan for it. And... Um, that will really make uh, life difficult for you when you are doing a uh, combat exam. So let us do our forecasting. In nano market segment, um, we projected to sell 950 units. Uh, for Elite, we projected to sell also 950. And for Thrift, 1800, as well as for uh, core market segment. Now let us go to production. Our first product we had um, inventory of 267, so we produced um, 870 units. Our second product, which uh, is um, a light product, we had 219 inventory, so we produced 900 units. For uh, that product, which is a drift market segment product, we had a very large inventory of 761 units, so we projected to say to we produced uh, 1,280 units to meet our expected demand. For our core product, we had 54 units in inventory, so we only produced 2,050 units. For our new introduced three products, uh, we provided each with capacity of 300 units, and uh, we also increased, we also provided each with an automation level of 4.0. We increased our automation level for three product, which is product arc to 10.0 and um, we also increase the automation level for our product able to 7.5 for product in nano and LED market segment we increase to 5.0 each we also try to increase capacity for our a thrift and core product to 100 each but um, it was too much so we tried to reduce to 50 each but still it exceeded the budget we had so we further uh, scaled down to 40 uh, for our core product and it worked out so we were within the budget that's all for production let us go to human resource uh, for recruitment, we spent 5,000 and training hours, we allocated 8 hours. Uh, let's go to finance. So, uh, we first uh, start by issuing long-term debt amounting to 14,722. We also borrowed short-term debt amounting to 20,000. And this quite uh, balance our financial structure, but we need to check our balance scorecard to make sure that everything is all right. So when you go to balance scorecard, we usually check days of working capital and uh, leverage. So for leverage is 6 out of 6, that is good, but for days of working capital is 3.5 out of 4. So uh, we are losing some point there. So let's go to ratio and see if there's something we can do. In ratio days of working capital we had 28 and the required to score 4 out of 4 is 30 but we are projecting that uh, we actually will sell more than what we have projected so there's a high chance that we'll end up with more revenue than what we have projected and the result of that will is that our days of working capital will increase so there's a chance that we'll attain 3.0 and score 4 out of 4. So uh, back to balance scorecard, I think uh, it, it looks good. So there's nothing we can change in our finance, but um, having 20,000 is quite well for uh, short-term debt. 
I think that's all for uh, this round. In case you have any question, kindly let us know. We'll try to respond to you as soon as possible. Again, kindly consider subscribing to our channel so that next time we have similar video, uh, YouTube will notify you. Again, thank you. Have a nice time.